you know, on a first Peter New Living Translation, you love him even though you have never seen him, though you do not see him now, you trust him and you rejoice with a glorious, inexpressible joy. The reward for trusting him will be the salvation of your souls. The salvation, now a true faith, a true trust is what the Lord gives his sheep the ability to do. So just don't get caught up in any free will stuff as you read this. Remember, Jesus is the word and the word of God is one big parable. This salvation was something even the prophets wanted to know more about when they prophesied about this gracious salvation prepared for you. They wondered what time or situation the spirit of Christ within them was talking about when he told them in advance about Christ's suffering and his great glory afterward. They were told that their messages were not for themselves, but for you. And now this good news has been announced to you by those who preached in the power of the Holy Spirit sent from heaven. It is also wonderful that even the angels are eagerly watching these things happen. So prepare your minds for action and exercise self-control, but all your hope in the gracious salvation that will come to you when Jesus Christ is revealed to the world. Moving on to Daniel. <clears throat> And in all matters of wisdom and understanding, the king inquired of them, talking about Daniel. Um, God, I forget their, their real names. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Yeah. Found them 10 times better than all the magicians and astrologers that were in his realm. So remember, Daniel and his three others cohorts were part of the magicians and the astrologers and but it's actually about daniel's ability to prophecy which is what this book's about and daniel continued even into the first year of king cyrus and in the second year of the reign of nebuchadnezzar nebuchadnezzar dreamed dreams wherewith his spirit was troubled and his sleep break from him now this is going to be one of the longest this is by far the longest chapter in the book of daniel and one of the longest out of Revelation, Daniel, or anything in the New Testament. I believe it's 47, maybe, verses. Now, Matthew, the Gospels, they really, you know, break those records. We got up into the 50s. But, um, so Nebuchadnezzar had trouble sleeping, and the king, uh, then the king commanded that all the magicians and the astrologers and the sorcerers and the Chaldeans were to show the king his dreams. So they came and stood before the king, and the king said to them, I have dreamed a dream, and my spirit was troubled to know the dream. Then spake the Chaldeans to the king in this uh, language of Syriac, O king, live forever. Tell thy servants the dream, and we will show you the interpretation. The king answered and said to the Chaldeans, The thing is gone from me. If you will not make known unto me the dream with the interp and the, with the interpretation thereof, I'm going to cut you into pieces and destroy your homes. But if you show me the dream and the interpretation, you shall, you shall receive of me gifts and rewards and great honor. Therefore, show me the dream and the interpretation thereof. Love you very much. Ask questions at any time. That's what I'm here for.